Welcome back, everyone. Okay, raise your hand if you think wine makes an excellent gift. I mean, it's a gift I like to receive. It's usually a safe bet. But if you want to amp it up even more, there are some great wine gadgets out there for the wine lovers in your life. And here to help us pick out the best ones is our sommelier, Renee. So, Renee, let's talk wine gadgets. You've brought some great ones here today. Clearly, I have a lot going on today, but I love gadgets, and these are great gifts as well. I have four to be specific, something okay. for bubbles, opening more aged wines, okay. making your wine last longer, and making it taste better. Speaking of which, I should probably turn that on now. Okay. And we'll get to that at the end. But it's we're gonna doing its thing. Yeah, but we'll start off over here for now. Okay, so <laughs> what do we got over here? We have basically something to save your sparkling wine. What happens when you only want a glass of sparkling wine in your house? That never happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but let's say, if, let's I, say do, you if do. I do put the bottle back in the fridge, I put a spoon in it. Yeah, the spoon trick doesn't yes. necessarily work. A, it doesn't usually fit inside of the fridge, True. and B, it still lets the bubbles out. So okay. these sparkling wine savers are absolutely amazing. They work for champagne, Prosecco, Cava, mm. all types of sparkling wines. And I have a little bit of an experiment for us to do today. Okay. just to see how these work because they're supposed to keep the quality of the wine lasting longer. Okay. So I have two bottles of Bottega Gold here. This is the classic Prosecco from the Veneto region of Italy. Mm -hmm. And this one I've opened two days ago. Two days ago. I know. So first off, we're going to give this an open and it should still make Ooh, a pop, which yes. is fun. I'm going to get you to give this guy a try first. So that was sealed tight. But, yeah, right? and it's a really tight seal that happens on it. And while you try that one, I am going to open up a fresh bottle mm -hmm. of the Bottega Gold as well. We love it when Renee visits. I know, Why right? Why don't you open up that fresh bottle? Okay, so this <laughs> tastes good. I love this brand. I drink it all the time. It's fantastic. And let's compare how the fresh one tastes to it. It should have pretty much the same level of sparkling. Well, I'm happy to play your game. Let's see. <laughs> they taste the same. Isn't, and that's the point. I cannot I believe know. that is two days old. I know, and it's oh been sitting goodness. in my fridge waiting for you to drink it. Oh my God, thank you for waiting You're for me. You're welcome. Okay, so this little gadget is a very good gift to give. I love that. It is, and it's incredibly affordable too, yes. which is the other thing about it. So it's a great hey. little gift. My house is filled with these. Let's talk about your next gadget. How does that one work? So this is a really fun wine opener, and I'll actually do it like this so everybody at home can see. You can see it has two prongs. Do that one more time for us. There we go, everyone. You can see these two prong wine opener here. Perfect. So this is called the Asso by Monopole, and once you see how it works, you'll say, ah, so that's how it works. Okay. Super <laughs> cheesy, but literally how the name came forward. So okay. this is a cork puller for vintage wines. We're talking 30 years and older because it won't destroy the cork as you pull it out of the bottle. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate how it works on a little bit more of a more youthful bottle here. This is the Henry of Pelham Spec Family Reserve Bacco Noir. Oh, nice. So basically, you put the prongs in and you wiggle them all the way down into the bottle. Yeah. And then you just start twisting and pulling oh, up. Good. I will say it's a lot easier to do sitting down as yeah, I'm for sure. currently standing. But I looked at that tool and I thought, well, this is going to be almost impossible, but you're making it look actually quite easy. Hold that up, hold that up so there we can get a shot go, of it. Everyone. You can see the cork there. It took it right out actually fairly easily. Mm -hmm. And so this, the reason why you use a tool like that is because the cork might degenerate if it's an older yes. bottle. Yes, okay. so the cork will generate over time, and if you yeah. put the cork screw right in, it'll only pull out part of the cork. Got it. This way you can save your cork. And before we move on to our next gadget, I actually yeah. want you to taste this wine for me. Yeah. It's going to be important later, I promise. Okay, you didn't even have to give me that little preamble. I'll try it. <laughs> mm hmm there we go. It's delicious. It's fabulous. Now yeah. remember how that wine tastes, all right? Okay. All right, we have our next, next one. Mm. All right, so this is the Corvin Wine Preservation System. This is by far one of the wine world's most favorite gadgets right now and actually in continuum. Okay. So this is a gadget that pulls wine out of the bottle without opening the bottle. What? I know, right? That's the best part about it. It works for screw caps and corked topped bottles, and okay. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So this is one of my favorite uh, screw top wines at the moment. This is the Gris Banque by Gerard Bertin. Mm -hmm. And you, all you have to do is put on top this screw cap compatible Corvin screw cap. Okay. You take your Corvin. This is the Model 3. It's actually my personal one. And you just push in the needle right here. And you put, hold it over your glass, plus, press the lever, and out comes that beautiful oh Gris Blanc, right? And why do you need this? Why would you want to use something like that? Oh, it, well, it's 
first thing, it's amazing because you can even do it on the cork top bottle and it works the same way. But yeah. what it's doing, it's displacing the wine in the bottle with argon gas, which is a noble gas, so it's not degrading the wine. Oh. And you can only, you can pull out a couple of glasses at a time from yes. it, but at the same time you could save it for later. And with this, the screw capped one can last for up to three months and the cork top one can last for up to six months, even using this system. That's incredible. I know, right? Okay, so magical, but that is very good that you can buy that um, and save your wines. Last but not least, last, your last gadget. Last but not least. So I had this running before, but it's turned off for now. This okay. is the Vinovation O2 Wine Aerator. Yeah. It's a Canadian design product, a hyper aerator of wine. And what it does, it infuses wine with more air. Aerating okay. wine is super important. It could be as simple as swirling your glass or doing a decant. But this does the same as a one hour decant in 10 minutes. Amazing. And it really opens up the wine. Wine needs a little bit of aeration mm -hmm. just to make it a little bit smoother and easy. And it's kind of like getting out of a long car ride. You really want to stretch. Yes. And because wine is a living object, it wants to stretch too. So, so I tried the first one, which exactly. had not been aerated. And now this is the backo from that you tried That's before. That's been aerated. aerated. Okay. You should be getting a more like softer, easier to understand wine. It is wine. very soft. Isn't it? It is very soft. This is shocking because I didn't even know why people did that. I'm like, why, why waste the step? But very good. I get it now. It changes the, uh, the way the wine goes down. Renee, you are so good. Thank you for these gadgets. We're going to take a quick break. See you all on the other side. They're so good. Thank you.